they would actually I would actually agree that they were that, that Starfield was the most innovative game of the year. Uh, the reason why I don't think Baldur's Gate 3 was because they basically reinvented the wheel uh, with Baldur's Gate 3. And with Baldur's Gate 3, what they did was basically their story was just way better than Starfield's. Uh, the story was better, the, uh, the companions were better, they were better written. Unfortunately for Starfield, the only thing that was actually decently written in that game was the companions, and they weren't that great. <laughs> they were good, not that great. They weren't badly written, they were just... Yeah. Sierra, Marjorie. Yeah, I don't think I've got... I don't think I've got them yet. There's so many, there's so many things up. I might have to look up, like, a whole thing about... But then again, I'm using, like, a whole load of mods. Like, I've got... I, I'm pretty sure I've got over, like, 500 mods for this game. <laughs> Which is crazy. Um, right, let me go to the quests. I mean, yeah, I can get her to follow me, but I need to figure out how. Crimson Caravan. Maybe uh, the whole game just felt like I'd seen it. Yeah. It's basically Fallout in Space. I mean, let's be real. It, they could have made it Fallout in Space and it would have been fun. If they had... If they take up the loading screens... Which, to be honest, wasn't really my problem with the game. But they could have done it in a way that would have not felt like a loading screen. What are you trying to do? To, uh, at the moment, I think... Give me a second. So... I've got to do this. So, Cass is drowning her sorrows at the Mojave Outpost. Her advice is to go... So, I think uh, if I go back to the Crimson Caravan... Uh, I might be able to get her reassigned or something. Maybe I can get her to follow me that way. I think that's how you do it. Well, I'm going to go back there anyway and see you. Oh, wait. And I'm going to quickly go and... Um, I'm going to go here anyway. Why do you need her to follow you as a companion? Uh, that's for the McGrath, but at the same time, I could do with a third companion, you know? Go around, go around with uh, three three people and a dog. <laughs> I'll be OP. <laughs> wait, why? What does he kill her or something? Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I think if I remember correctly. Yeah, no, we're not do Okay, we won't do that. What the fuck is happening? I didn't realize. I, I just remembered. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah, that was my name. I'm curious. Would he shoot? Go on, shoot. Shoot! Oh. Okay. Right, there's... There's something that I've got to give someone here. So let's go and sort this out now. I got so scared. Yeah, nah, um... I'm glad you. I'm glad. No, I'm. I'm glad that you came by actually, because I didn't even think of that. Um, that would have got her killed, wouldn't it? Uh, so I don't know how to progress on that mission. There might be. There might be another way to sort that. That's another thing that I'll see. One of my. Uh, she would have got blasted. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad that you did actually come in and tell me because Jesus, I 
Yeah, nah, I kind of want her as a companion, as um. A pleasure to meet you. I'm as Dr. A third Thomas person. Hildern, director of operations. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Nice. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Wonderful. Straight to it then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Save the sales pitch, just tell me what... All right, straight to the point. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlocked the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them, no one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. Sweet, all right. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? All right, cool. Best of luck to you. Not that you'll need it. You seem like oh, a really this... competent person. Uh, um... I'm going to be honest. Did Dr. Hildern, this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Quite a, uh, let's say this is, I don't know how many playthroughs I've done. I can't even count them. Um, I've done too many. <laughs> and this was um, years ago. Even on the PlayStation, I used to play this, I think. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs, one after another. None of them came back. Then about More a week then. ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect, but she's an absolute genius. And and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? Don't like the character visuals. Changes the... Wait, what do you mean by that? Um, no. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc, but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Smoking while annoying stream, uh, streamers law. Right, I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you, moment you walked in. I mean it. Cool. Right. Good luck. We'll try and find Keely, and we'll try and get um thing on our side, and we'll forget the all oh, the faces. Well. I'm gonna be honest, like, I don't think I've got a mod that actually changes them. I don't think, I don't know. Man, after eight hours work, I can't think straight. Uh, I, I, I've been there, man. I've been there. I remember doing game testing and legit, like, I'll come home and I'll be, uh, I'd be fucked. If I'm, if I'm being real, I, I used to do game testing quite a bit. And Jesus Christ. I can't tell you the amount of times I came back and I was just like, yeah, no, I'm fucked. I came back and I couldn't even sleep, to be honest. And a lot of the time, I like, and to be honest, even though I used to work three days a week, because I, I, I tried to get as much work as possible. I think there was times where I did, like, four days. There was even a time where they were like, oh, yeah, we're going to put you on extra hours. I'm like, okay. They didn't even put me on extra hours. It's fucked. Uh, do I have any unique weapons? I have. Mercenaries grenade launcher. Uh, There's a lot more troops here than we thought. I have. The jewel. No wonder we couldn't hold helium. Nine so millimeters. I can hey, recommend. You got a second? What is it? 
The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Take you back there, first chance I get. Great, thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously. What the fuck? Uh, you should get... Wait, where'd you get that from? I've even got this. I like this guy. I can recommend New Vegas redesigned to revised. Wait, which one is that? Is that the, uh... Collection mod. I might have to. I might have to look into that after this playthrough. Uh, crap. Where's the other thing that I usually use? This is pretty good. This just reminds me of like the Scar H. But yeah, I'm gonna have to look at. I'm gonna have to look at that shop. Alright, I am going to go. You know what? I'm going to fast travel there. I want to see if I can get Cass on my side. And then I'm going to go to Legra uh, that Van Graaf and go, yeah, peace, air, sheep. You do after the quest for the animal fighters in the thorn. Okay. I'll have to look, I'll have to look out for that. What are you doing? Put the gun away. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, get out. Our guys put the... Welcome back. <laughs> I delivered the invoice. Well, you've proven yourself reliable so far. Would you be interested in more important jobs? As much as I like to handle matters personally, I can't be everywhere at once. There is a negotiation with a smaller trading outfit that I'd like resolved as quickly as possible. Oof. There's also the matter of Henry Jameson, an employee whose services I'd rather do without. His family connections make it difficult, however. And finally, I need someone to acquire the Gunrunner's manufacturing specifications. This job needs to be quiet. No alarms, no deaths. Okay. Tell me it. Ah, I'll see what I can Thank do. you. Was there something else? It's been a pleasure. Alright. Let's see if I can go back to Cass. I'm going to go back to Cass now. Oh, now I can. Yeah, nice. Sweet. Yeah, I'm not going to go... Maybe I should go... Maybe I should have gone to the Van Graaff first. Wait, why? Because I was about to get a kill. Yeah, no, I didn't realise I was going to. No, I feel... I, I, I thought he was just going to talk to her. But I actually forgot about... Um, yeah, no, I ain't going to get a kill. Don't worry about that. If he tries to kill her... I'll be taking over that shop and all the money. You come around like a bad habit. Crimson Caravan sent me. They want to buy out your caravan. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. Cool. Sweet. Wait, what happened to your caravan? Mojave happened. Hit by raiders packing some heavy firepower. Can't believe the Crimson Caravan haven't heard. So if you want to buy all of Cassidy Caravans, you're looking at it. And what I got in my pockets. Still, as little as that is, not looking to sell. So, even if you have nothing, you won't sell. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Yes. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. 
I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. I need to level up, man. What the hell is this? It's just a name. <laughs> yeah. I'm only like level 9, I think. Or oh, level 10? I don't even know what level I am. You know what? That sucks. You know what? I'm probably on the level. You take. You know, you know why I even got to the place I even got to is because of the amount of companions I got. <laughs> if I'm honest. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Okay, we we've got. Go level up your butt. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I think what I'm gonna do for now, uh, because it's two o'clock. I'm going to probably, well, I've got a few things to sort out. Plus, I've got a few shorts to edit. This game has given me a load of shorts. And I'm going to be honest, this game has given me, I, I love, I, I love playing this game. It is, do you know what? Like, uh, yeah, I'm going to, I was going to take a break from it. But do you know what? Yeah, no, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep going. Because, yeah. Uh, skill book. Yeah, I forgot about them. I might have to go and look for him. But you know what I'm going to do, yeah? Um, because tomorrow I'm playing Dragon's Dogma. The day after that, I'll be continuing with uh, Cyberpunk. By the way, Cyberpunk is still one of my favorite... is now one of my favorite games of all time. Um, I think Blake in the Crimson Caravan sells it. That's a good idea. But I tell you what... Um... I'm going to take a bit of a break because I've been at this for about four hours straight, man. So, I'm going to take a break. Um, I probably won't be streaming again today, but I will be I will be doing it tomorrow. But uh, just, just for you guys' information, just for your guys' information, I stream from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. So, uh, literally every day is going to be like that. I might end up... Uh, Depending on how every stream goes, I might end up doing, like, um, I might end up doing longer streams and just taking breaks in between. But, uh, but yeah. For now, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it here. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to hit the like. Consider subscribing if you're new, and feel free to follow me on Twitch. And also, I've got a Discord. Discord is in a link below. Sometimes it will even pop up in the chat. I'm not too sure where it is on Twitch because I need to learn how to use Twitch. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got like a link in the a link for the Discord on my bio actually, coming to think of it. So feel free to follow me there. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'll be doing Dragon's Dogma, so feel free to follow that. Um, I'm actually looking forward to playing some Dragon's Dogma. I, ain't, I really want to get in on that, man. Can't wait for Dragon's Dogma 2. That's going to be a really good game. I actually feel like that is going to be probably one of the best games this year. If it comes out the way it was actually shown. I'm actually looking forward to that, man. But yeah, um, appreciate having you guys here. Thank you for tuning in to the stream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And again, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>